Hey guys, check it out. Today I'm going to be putting some of Gon's feet onto the bottom of my JD40. Pretty excited about this. For those of you who don't know who Gon is, I'll put a link on screen. You basically want to check him out. You are in for a world of fun and surprises with custom keyboards and custom builds and it will blow your mind. Here's my JD40 and for this I'm going to be putting these Gon's feet on the bottom in these two slots here. So first thing to do is start taking apart my JD40. So this JD40 in particular was made by my friend Margot Baggins of Margot Mods. Uh, I didn't actually order this through the group buy. I was lucky enough to buy this on uh, our mech market. But I happen to know that Margot uses lead solder or solder depending on which part of the world you're from. So I definitely don't want to touch that, else I'll have to uh, wash my hands and whatever. But I might just give this, this plate a quick wipe before I continue on. And Margo's put together a really cool time lapse of him assembling these boards. I think it's totally worth checking out. You should find a link to that on screen now, or you can find it at the end of the video, or in the about section below. Okay, so this goes on this way, so what I want to do is put that that way. And this, of course, still has the rubber bumpers on the bottom, so I can do it like that. So the back of the gone screws have a Phillips head. I'm assuming that they're metric, only because I assume that Korea is metric, but I don't actually know. Of course, gone is based in Korea. Let's, uh, let's start getting this together. So the feet that I've ordered are these red anodized aluminum feet, or aluminum depending again on what part of the world you're living in. They look pretty cool and I, they've got these little stoppers that match with them. That fits just perfectly in that little hole there. There we go. Now really, really I would have preferred uh, button heads to those, those uh, screws that are meant to have a recessed hole, but that's okay. Now I'm just going to give you a uh, side view here so you can see how much over these rubber bumpers that I've stuck on, how much more clearance you actually get with Gon's feet on there. I can tell already though that is that is how I like a keyboard. You know that's a really nice that's gonna be a really nice angle. Okay well I'm gonna put the rest of it together and uh, Alrighty. So that is the mechanical keyboard. I'm doing this under the leg of the tripod here, so it's not quite comfortable. I won't really be able to... Ah, screw you. You know, that that's the right angle. That's the angle this thing should be on, actually. Well, it makes me feel better having spent all that money to ship these things over from Korea. Let me just give you a side profile so you can see exactly what this looks like. Well, guys, you can see there just exactly how much of a difference that makes over those rubber bumpers. There's quite a bit of difference, so now I'll just pop those rubber bumpers off so you can see what the underside of the board is meant to look like. Well, you know, I was worried about these rubber bumpers not being a, a permanent solution. But I tell you what, they do not want to give up without a fight. I'm talking about these these big black bumpers here. God, they are, they are really on there. Oh! Got it. Well, 
Well, that was a fight, but they came off. Still got to clean it up under there. That's the profile. That's the profile shot you're going to get. There's more kind of a complete version of what you'd normally see. Just one more shot here of the backside for you to check out. Uh, somebody commented recently that they looked at my video of me air typing and they thought that I had really bad technique. So I'm a bit skeptical to show you uh, me just air typing. I think part of the problem is I know that you're watching me, so I, I freak out a little bit. But you know, I'm really happy with these uh, these little feet for now. Uh, they look like they're really good quality, and of course, they look really awesome on the bottom of the board. I uh, think I'm going to post a couple pics of them, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. Lots of cool mechanical keyboard-related stuff. Coming up, I also have some pretty cool Raspberry Pi videos out there for those of you who are interested. This is a JD40. It was custom built by Margo Mods. It has clear switches, and these keys came from my crap bag. I'm sure all you guys were wondering questions to that. That and so much more can be found in the About section, or of course you can buy me a coffee if you found this video particularly useful. I don't know if putting Gon's feet on here could ever be very difficult, but if you're only just now discovering Gone, that might be worth the price of coffee itself. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to post any questions or comments below, and of course post your own videos if you guys are doing cool stuff with mechanical keyboards or anything computer related. Let me know in the comment section, and uh, hopefully we can create a little community around these videos. Thanks again. Bye for now.